You have two options. The first one is AB. The second option is 2AB. If you could figure out the result is 2AB. Excellent. Hello friends. Welcome back to the Shortcut World. This is our new series where we are going to cover every chapter. And this is our first chapter, Algebra. And today we are starting its part 1 which is basic algebra formulas. Oh, you call it formulae? Okay. No issues. Uh, according to me, both are correct. Uh, you say formulas or formulae. But we'll cover everything about basic algebra. So without wasting time, let's begin. The first formula is a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is very very basic formula but still you will find many people doesn't understand how does it come. So if you also don't know how to prove this simply multiply a plus b into a plus b you will get to know this. The next one is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. The next one is a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b into a plus b. My dear friends these are the most basic formula from which we can derive any other formula. So that's why let's revise it once again. The first one is a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. The second is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. And the third one is a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b into a plus b. Now we know all these three formulas but do we know what is the significance of this and how to utilize this in our practical life? Probably no. So let's say you have to find out the square of 52. How would you deal with this? My dear friends, let's use the first formula a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. If you compare here, a is equal to 50 and b is equal to 2. So simply we'll take the square of a that means 50 square which is 2500 and 2 into a into b so 2 into 50 into 2 which is equal to 200 and at the end b square which means 2 square 2 square is 4 now simply add all this 2500 plus 200 plus 4 it's 2704 that's it my dear friends this is as simple as this now let's try to modify the same formula which we had seen which was a plus b whole square. If I try to write a plus b whole square is equal to a minus b whole square. Now we need to do some modification this so that this expression should be correct right. Now if you look at the first part a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square right. Now the second part says a minus b whole square which means a square minus 2ab plus b square. So if I simply add plus 4ab to the right hand side this expression would be exactly equal to the left hand side right. So now I can write a minus b whole square plus 4ab. Now the similar thing can be done in the second expression as well a minus b whole square if I modify this in different manner it would become a plus b whole square minus 4ab this is what many people will say another formula but this is exactly the same thing which we had written earlier or you can say this is just a modification of that now let's move on and try to figure out what would be the value of a plus b plus c let's say third variable is c and if we are supposed to take the square of this this is equal to the square of each variable that means a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into ab plus bc plus ca 
that means two times of all this now this is one formula you can consider C with negative sign B with negative sign or both with negative sign or A with negative sign it's up to you first of all let's say consider B with negative sign in this case wherever you get B just put minus B instead of B so you'll find the expression like this in the same manner if you put C with negative sign you'll get this expression if you put both B and C with negative sign you'll get this expression so we are not doing anything we are just putting B or C or A anything whatever you want with negative sign and your expression will get modified my dear friends now let's try to figure out the cube of A plus B A plus B whole cube is equal to A cube plus B cube plus 3AB into A plus B if I consider this with negative sign the expression would become like this now in the same way the cubic expression can be written as a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square this is another form of writing this now if you change the sign of a cube plus b cube to a cube minus b cube the expression would become like this my dear friends we have seen all kinds of basic formulae now it's time to practice all those things so let's begin with the first question you'll be given five seconds to solve this and this is one of the very very basic question you have two options the first one is a b the second option is 2 a b If you could figure out the result is 2ab excellent had you not chosen no issues because it's very difficult to remember each and every formula by looking at it for the first time now let's move on to the second question oh, one expression is written this expression is equal to which one of the following we have two options one is a cube plus b cube the second option is a cube minus b cube you don't have any time limit to solve this you just pause the video and think try to recall the formula you'll come to know about the answer just pause the video and once you figure out just resume it if you could figure out the first option a cube plus b cube great work now it's time to give you some homework you need to solve all the basic questions without using calculator and with formula do not try to solve directly so the first question is 79 square minus 29 square let me give you a hint this is in the form of a square minus b square now the next one is 48 square the hint is you need to solve this as 50 minus 2 whole square and the third one is 221 square and this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square which means here you can figure out as 200 plus 20 plus 1 square now here are the list of all the formulas don't forget any one of them so you what you can do is you can take a snapshot of this and save it in your mobile phone or your laptop my dear friends in the next video we'll be covering algebra part 2 if you want to get notified please subscribe the channel and press the notification bell as well if you like this video please give a thumbs up if you have any doubts or if you want to give any suggestion post your comments in the comment box and if you find this video is good for any of your friends, colleagues or your schoolmates, just share the video with those guys. But as of now, thank you very much for watching this video and please stay tuned.